Hey y'all, um, my name is Jessie and I am a senior and third year RA here at Fort Hayes State University and let me tell you a little bit about our story. Fort Hayes State University was founded in 1902 in a small town called Hayes America, basically in the middle of nowhere western Kansas. Um, there is approximately 15,908 students enrolled uh, for the 2020-2021 academic school year. And we have approximately 4,486 of those students living in our on-campus communities. Of course, these numbers are a little slimmer due to uh, COVID-19 restrictions, but the majority of our housing units and housing facilities are still at capacity, so this is a great thing. <laughs> so although many things are the same, so many things have changed due to COVID-19 and changed our roles as RAs in a completely different way. <laughs> so here's a few reasons why COVID-19 has made us killer RAs and prepared us for the years to come. Number one, my sanitation skills, 10 out of 10. Literally, I've gotten so good, I don't even leave streaks anymore. Number two, uh, we've been trying to keep the amount of people in a room um, down. So for example, like if they have a single suite, they can only have one guest over at a time. If they live in a double, um, both residents can only have one guest over at a time so there can be four people in a room total and then for a single room there can be two people in a room total um same with like our community lounges so in the dormitory i'm in i'm in victory village um, i have approximately 25 residents and there's a max of 30 i think um but i have approximately 25 and i can only have 10 of my residents in the lounge at the same time so trying to keep just 10 in there is kind of difficult and it kind of um makes them not so much want to hang out in the lounge and want to hang out in more public spaces um, where they can all be together like outside and things like that so just getting them to um, collaborate and be friends and things has been kind of difficult but also telling them that they can only have 10 people in there when they have like 15 um, has also been kind of difficult because then they're more so um, thinking that you just are being mean and don't want them to um, actually build a community number three um this one has been a big problem everywhere but masks. Um, I feel like we are constantly nagging our residents to, hey, make sure your mask is on. Hey, pull your mask up over your nose. Um, just constantly telling them that they need to um, follow the rules, basically. And I think this is really t tough for us because um, in Victory Village, we're primarily freshman dorm. So this is their first chance at like adulthood, per se. And they don't have um, a parent there telling them, hey, make sure you do this. Hey, make sure um, this is done. Make sure you follow the rules. Um, and this is kind of their first outing as true adults. And so they're not used to having to take care of themselves and also thinking about taking care of others as well. So I feel like this has just been a really tough subject for us. And I feel like it has pushed our residents away from us in a way because they're scared that we're always just going to yell at them because we're just not following the rules, um, which is very tough for us um, in general because we never want to be the mean guy or the mom or the dad or you know like we don't want our residents thinking that we're always going to be nagging on them lastly is number four um i feel like i've gotten very good at being able to answer residents questions because i have had so many questions asked to me that i had no clue what the answer was so i've had to go search for the answer uh, for my superiors get the answer get back with them and help them with the situation that they're in that now i feel like i can handle any question that goes my way like pop it to me like jeopardy or something because i would definitely win if it was covid related in a dorm setting so <laughs> although COVID-19 has made our jobs very difficult um, I know a lot of us here at FHSU are very grateful to even have the chance to live in the dorms and still have this awesome experience um, to interact and make a community with our residents